So just so you guys know, I've had to record this video almost three times. My camera was being a dick and I've recorded this video three separate times. And I'm having an issue where my camera just randomly starts freezing and moving and talking and doing my hand gestures, even though it's a 1080p camera and that shouldn't be an issue. But whatever, it's fine. It happens, technical difficulties, we got it. Hopefully it doesn't happen when I'm doing this video or I'm gonna just absolutely flip my shit. But welcome guys to the third official Dragon Ball Z Smasher Pass video. I have four videos on the from the Dragon Ball franchise and I wanna know you guys' thoughts on what I think. Um, leave me a like, of course, and if you don't leave me a like, your mom's a hoe and you smell like absolute dog doo-doo buns. And also leave me a comment letting me know what you guys actually think about my choices. Um, people that you might think that I should do, a series you might think I should do, or just telling me what you think about the video in general. I really appreciate it. All the feedback I get from you guys really helps. And it lets me know if I can just keep doing these kind of videos in the future, which helps me out a lot. So please do make sure to leave me a like and a comment. I really appreciate it. And I know Jack Shaw would really appreciate it as well. But without further ado, let's stop wasting you guys' time and let's get started with the actual video. The first person I had lined up for today was Android 21. And if you guys don't know who Android 21 is, she is an Android um, that exists in the Dragon Ball Z Fighters canon part of Dragon Ball. She is in the Dragon Ball Z Fighters video game and is at one point is a scientist. Um, and the one I'm going to be talking about today is the scientist. Her Majin form's hot and all, the pink one of her is cool, but I'm focusing more on the scientist lab coat version of her. Instant smash simply because of one, her body's banging. Okay, nobody can say it. You can't say she's not cute. She's got the glasses, she's got the long hair. She's got the tick old bitties. Everybody, the world runs on titty. You ever heard the world runs on Duncan? No, it runs on titty. Straight titty pads, okay? In addition to that, she's smart. There's nothing I find more attractive in women than them being smart. My girlfriend is really, really, really smart, which is what I love about her so much. Don't tell her. It's a secret. Don't think. She's going to think she's, she's smart, but I don't want her to get cocky and then not pass her math class. My girlfriend's really smart. That's what I love a lot about her. Um, and I think that that's what would attract me to Android 21 in this case. In addition to, like I said, her being absolutely positively super thick. She's so damn thick that like, it's like trying to smack in a block of cheese and then watching it jiggle because you smacked it so hard. Like super smash, hard smash, confirmed. Got it? Okay, we're moving on to the next one. The next one is actually Kalafa. For people who don't know who Kalafa is, Kalafa is a Saiyan from Universe 6. Um, she fought against Goku and others in the Universe Survival Saga tournament. Um, and she was a very interesting character as she was one of the first female Saiyans to be introduced in Dragon Ball canon. Um, since there really been no others, there weren't our half Saiyans. This is a full bright Saiyan from a different universe. She is gonna have to catch, um, she's just, she's very stubborn. She's very headstrong. She doesn't accept help well from others and she pretends to know things when she doesn't actually know. In addition to that, she just is really what you would hope that a Saiyan female wouldn't be. They're strong-willed and then there's just a complete and total asshole. And I feel like Kalifa just falls under that complete and total asshole category. So honestly, personally for me, even with what I've seen for her, for her not safe for work stuff, I'm gonna have to say pass simply because I don't think that I can look past that attitude and tap that without thinking about how bad of a person I think she is. So, hard pass on Colorful for me, but let me know what you guys think about that one in the comment section, of course, because my opinion, of course, isn't the only opinion. But with that being said, moving on to the next one. So the next one on my list was Kale. She is literally the exact opposite of Colorful. Um, she's very shy, she's very um, slow to temper. She's very focused and driven if you give her a task. But the main thing about Kale that most of you already know is that Kale is technically the canon legendary Super Saiyan, not including Dragon Ball Super Broly. So she can turn into her own version of the legendary Super Saiyan if she gets upset enough and can actually control that power as well. I would say smash on her regularly, non-transformed. But once she transforms into that big ass thing, man, I'm not trying to get my teeth ripped off. I think I'm good. I, I, I non-transformed, smash, transformed, hard dab with a pass. I just, I just can't do it. I just can't put myself up to that 
I don't want her to break me, man. I, I just, I, I just can't. All right, you know, some of you in the comment section might be like, yeah, yeah, I, I just can't kill. Not me. I, I just can't do it to myself. I'm sorry. But you know, with that being said, pass slash smash. So she's kind of 50 50. Let me know what you think in the comment section. We're moving on. The last one that I had for this video was going to be future my. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to pay attention because you might be thinking that I'm talking about the child Mai from Dragon Ball Super. I'm not. That was an adult Mai who wished to be younger with the Dragon Balls and got turned back into a child. I'm referring to the future Mai from Trunks' future timeline that he's romantically involved with. Before I even give my opinion on Mai, I want to say that it was very hard to find not safe for work for Mai. She's a character that not much not safe for work content exists for, to be quite honest with you. And that makes it incredibly hard, to be quite honest, to find anything for her because people just don't seem that interested in her on a smashing level or on a sexual level. But I have to say that I'd give it a hard smash. She has a very nice frame. She's independent. Um, she's very headstrong, but not to a point where it gets her killed. She's tactical. She's brilliant mentally. She's very intelligent. She is literally all around package in addition to being Asian and bossy and bossy in the good way she's literally what i would want colorful to be if she ever you know if you ever expected me to smash colorful so i mean future my for me is a is a hard smash you know she's not the thickest but thick don't matter you know when you're talking about smashing smashing is all about quality overall and that's what you have to look at what do you guys think of the video did i miss anybody that you guys think i should have done that i haven't done in a previous video have you not seen the other videos Hello, there should be a thing popping up right now on the top right of your screen with a little eye icon. It should say, watch past videos. You should really check that out because guess what? That's the past video. So you can actually go back and look at who I've already rated before. You have somebody else that I still haven't rated? Guess what? Smack it in my comments section. And you know what else you forgot to do? Look at me. I know you forgot. Look at my face. Look here, right here. Look in my eyes. My drowsy eyes. You forgot to like the goddamn video, you scrub. Click the like button. Click the like button and say how much you liked it for me. Tell me what you guys want next. Um, I think that the next thing on my list was Hero Academia for Smasher Pass. So if you have any comments about that, leave me a comment section below. Don't be scared to leave multiple comments, man. Look, look at me. You can talk to me anytime, any day. But I want you to make this video blow up. Share it with friends. Get their opinions. Do that. You can show this to the mailman. I don't care who you show it to. But I am very glad to be back making content. I'm glad to not be as sick as I was anymore. I appreciate all you guys have been watching the content. It really means a lot to me. You guys are the goats and I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully you know you guys are able to follow along and keep up with me. Um, I really appreciate everybody that watched the video and as always guys, it's been Gizzlemeck and I'll see you guys in the other world. Have a nice night. Is it nighttime where you live right now? Nighttime? Anytime? Have a nice night and goodbye, guys.